Hello guys, this is Rich Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before we start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person on our channel. May Heat, Charlene Lee Obligar, Clay Young's Blog, Y Lapi, Crystal Aburita, Rosan Villegas, Bunso Saiki, Ann Mustaho, Wingeline Nahini, GSTV Ries, and Kuracha Naomi na nagpasopit chat kagabi. Romel Rupero, Distal Blogger, A Traveler, Humbaga, Humbaga Family, Heart Ponsalan, Lin Batong, Ahava Sila, Mind PV, Gladys Carolino, Marabotit, Just Travel and Tour, Morina Jean, Francis Capin Official, Four Months Work, Yuri Ogama, Arlin Baluang, Jeneline uh, Fernandez, Casey Rias, Killer Smile Blog, Audilixus Channel, Annalyn Villegas, Floridel Balino, Marisa Merto G2G, Pamilyan Lagan Channel, Emily Mansalais, Cherry Ann Barrios, Nal Saborita, Janeline Alperes, and Manilin Lungos. Guys, kumusta? Sana wala tayong mga na-experience yung mga sakit dyan, no? By God's grace. Kaya, uh, it's really important, guys, na we really have to be closer with God, no? Okay, so let's now proceed to our devotional, guys. I want us to open our Bible to Psalms 126. Okay, Psalms 126. This is a song of ascent. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used here is so simplified and maintained talaga natin, no? Okay, Psalms 126, the whole chapter, it has six verses. When the Lord brought back the captives to Zion, we were like men who dream. Our mouth were filled with laughter, our tongues with songs of joy. Then it was said, Among the, na the nation, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. And we are filled with joy. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy. He who goes out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with him. Amen and amen. Ang ganda guys ang promise, no? no? Whatever the enemy has taken us, he will melt it. Uh, God will meant it for joy. Okay, guys, let's now pray. Father God, thank you, God, for that verse na despite what we are suffering today, illnesses, oh God, uh, yung kawalan ng trabaho, but yet, Lord, we claim of your promise na ikaw ang magbigay, pabalik sa amin ng mga nawala sa amin. Even, oh God, uh, add it more because you are the God whom we worship, whom we serve. And you are the God who promised us to do all these things. Lord, bless the viewers. Bless me also even as you use me to share your word, O God, to these people. Lord, salamat, O God, sa mga taong pinadala mo rito. I pray, O God, for the anointing of your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that you will set upon us, O God. Na it will really bless us, O God, especially that we are now on the last days. And we pray, O God, na yung words would really mean to our heart, O God. And would really do it. Lord, thank you. Bless you. In this name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, guys. Our focus verse for this evening is found in Romans 8.31. And it says, What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. Wow. What a very strong verse na binasa natin. Grabe yung verse. Uh, very powerful, no? Okay, so, uh, the title of our devotion for this evening is Great Things. On November 9, 1889, the world was astonished by the news of the fall of the Berlin Wall. The wall that had divided Berlin, Germany, was coming down, and the city that had been divided for 28 years would be united again. Though 
the epicenter of joy was Germany, an overlooking world, shared in the excitement. Something great had happened today. When Israel returned to her homeland in 538 BC after being exiled for almost 70 years, it was also momentous from when Psalms 126 begins with an over the shoulder look at the joy filled time in the history of Israel. The experience was marked by laughter, joy, singing, and international recognition that God had done great things for his people. And what was the response of the recipient of his rescuing mercy? Great things from God prompted great gladness. Furthermore, his work in that the past become the basis for fresh prayer for the present and bright hope for the future. You and I need not look far in our own experiences, for example, of great things from God, especially if we believe in God through His Son, Jesus. 19th century hymn writer Fanny Crosby captured this sentiment when she wrote, Great things He hath done, taught us, Great things he hath done, and great our rejoicing to Jesus the Son. Yes, to God be the glory, great things he has done. Wow, I like the song. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Yes, I really love that song. It's a hymnal song. No? Yes, guys, to tono man, no? Uh, I could just imagine kahapon we talk about uh, uh, Corrie Ten Boom and the Nazis, and ito na naman ngayon, no? Uh, we, we are talking about the incident that happened in Germany na a great wall divided them. So, ano kaya, no? So, for me, na ano ko talaga na, ganip, ganito pala kakrowil yung leader nila kasi nga, imagine na yung Germany at saka S and West na, ano, uh, parang ganun nga, no? I've been to Germany pero hindi ko mamaster yung, ano, yung, yung place nila, no? So, yun, no? So, it is a great victory to everybody no, na, ano, na yung wall, no? Parang, Dito sa atin ba na uh, ito ngayon, we cannot just move freely because of this what we're suffering, not only here in the Philippines, but for the whole world. No? But let's rely on uh, God's great thing to be done in our nation, in each of our family, and even in each of ourselves. No? So, ito nga, oh, if God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. Kaya nga sabi ko kanina, very strong yung, ano, very strong yung uh, word ni Lord ngayon. So, I really praise God for Him being our God, na whom we can really trust because to Him belongs all the power. No? If you're familiar with the song, it's a really nice song, no? It's a really nice song. Great things he had done. Uh, great things he had taught us. Great things he had done. And great our rejoicing to Jesus the Son. Yun, no? To God be all the glory. No? And dito man tayo sa panahon natin ngayon na naghihirap but yet. Let's rely on to God. Kaya nga, andito yung ano, no? Uh, Pag-umpisa ng pandemic, no, uh, uh, the pandemic started, ano, uh, March, no. But I have been praying already. Ko ano yung, uh, how would God use me? So, March, April, May, June, July, August, six months after, no, nabuo or five months after nabuo ang uh, Rich TV. Okay, guys, let's now proceed to the two question. What great things have you experienced from the hand of God? Okay, the very great things na nangyari talaga sa akin is ano nung nakakuha ko ng scholarship for Europe na nakapunta ako sa place do na, na yun, no? Uh, with only $100, uh, $72 in my pocket. Sa ano pa lang, guys? Nasa airport pa lang, pwede na akong pauwin kasi I, I really don't have money. But yet, God, because of His wonderful things, great things na ginawa niya, I, I was able to stay in that place in Europe for uh, one semester, and God gave me a chance to roam around that place. So, yun yung pinaka-wonders talaga na, ano, na hanggang ngayon, hindi ko, hindi ko pa maano ba, hindi ko pa ma, 
I cannot, uh, my mind cannot consume of thinking about it for that very great thing she has done. Maraming nangyari sa buhay ko na mga great, great things talaga. So, makay ng eroplano na walang pera, but yet somebody would just give me $100, no? Sakay ng barko na wala rin pera na sa barko pa lang, may nabibigay din ng pera. So, yung mga ganun ba? Mga simple things, no? Okay. So, ganun din sa mga ano, yung sa mga nagpapalipad, no? Yung mga nagpapamember, no? Sinasabi ko nga, little is much when God is in it, no? Uh, kukunti lang yan, pero... For me, it's already a, a great things. Na you shared me your blessing. You shared to Rich TV your blessing. Kasi nga, Rich TV is not only, ano, yung income ni Rich TV is not only for myself, but uh, mga ministries na sinusuportahan ko rin. No? So, God bless you. God bless you. That is great things for Rich TV. Okay, second question. How does reflecting on this increase your trust and hope? Well, I was... Uh, in the moment of discouragement and uh, parang I really wanted to stop na, no? Even yung devotional kasi nga, ano, uh, I don't have money, no? Nawala ng trabaho. But yet, sabi ko, Lord, I, I really result from God. Sabi ko, Lord, this ano, devotional should not be stopped. No? Just give me money to buy load para lang, ano, makontinue talaga yung, ano, yung, uh, devotional every day and praise God yung obstacle no hindi talaga natuloy no so i really ano look for ways praying for ways na God would really uh, make ways na mapatuloy talaga tong ano tong devotional na to and praise God not a single day since i started the devotional nag one year na lang siya no andito pa rin ang program na devotional ni Rich TV Okay, guys, let's now pray. <clears throat> great things in the past can inspire great joy, great prayer, and great hope. Amen and amen. Yes, no? great things in the past can inspire us. No? Let's hold on to, to the verse na sinabi niya sa Romans 8.31. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. Guys, sana na-bless tayo sa devotional natin. No? Uh, thank you for not uh, flooding emojis. Thank you for focusing on listening to the word. Kasi nga, the word is so important. No? The word is so important for us in order for us to grow spiritually. God bless us all, guys, because I know God would surely bless us ten times better. This again, Rich Rich TV. Kita-kita tayo muli. Tanggan sa muli. Paalam!